And Mike and Jen, it feels like football weather. This might as well be October, right, for some UNH football. Let's bring in the new head coach, Ricky Santos. This is your first blue-white game as the head coach, and you made it at night. It's a, it's a great vibe, great feeling here, a good positive energy. Yeah, we're excited. The guy's been working extremely hard all spring. Uh, the thought process to go at night, you know, our opener against Monmouth um, is going to be at night as well. So guys get to acclimate a little bit, uh, throwing and catching it under the lights and an opportunity for the fans to come see our guys uh, attack it. So last year, three and eight, and the guys were pretty frustrated. A lot of them are back, and it seemed like the focus of spring ball was, you know, put that behind you and, and let's start building up this winning tradition again. Has that happened? I think so. I think we've taken a step in the right direction offensively and defensively, and we've done some really creative things on the special teams end as well. And as you mentioned, yeah, last year was frustrating, uh, but all, all we've talked about, it's a new team, new year, right, trying to forge a new identity. And for us, you know, to have a growth mindset and kind of learn from the past, we don't want last year to be to kind of go by the wayside. Um, we want to use that as a benefit and some things that we can kind of learn for. I think our guys now are more, they got more acclimated in terms of making plays in game and pressure situations. So yeah, we're going to pull from the positives. We have some video of you guys at work in spring practice here. What did, what did you learn about your team that you really like or what, what's a positive coming out of spring? Well, defensively, you know, I think we, we, we got some really good defensive linemen. Um, Nico Kavikis is somebody who has a chance to, to be an All-American performer for us. Josiah Silver, after that sensational freshman campaign, continues to get better. Uh, really proud of Coach Garrett Gillick, of what he's done schematically. We've changed some things up a little bit, um, pressuring a little bit more, and they're disguising some stuff. Coach DeAndre's back and coaching those guys in the back end, so he's been a tremendous asset for us. And then offensively, you know, we're going to lean on the, the big guys up front. Uh, I think Patrick Flynn is a leader for us and he's, he, this will now be his fourth year starting so and then Osho Mignani uh, taking over from Matt Mashey at the center position making all those calls I think he's really integrated himself well in the offense um, and we're going to lean heavily on uh, on Dylan Lobby he's got to be a focal point for us. Awesome well it's great that you were able to uh, to stick around and be named the head coach here I think a lot of people are really happy about that former All-American quarterback here and, and good luck to you hope you have a great Great career following Coach McDonald. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Coach Santos leads his team to the blue-white game at 7 o'clock tonight. It's free. Come on down and check it out.